Hi, welcome back to Colts DRC. So, the other day you saw the unboxing of this. So this is the Tyro 69 and as you can see it's finished. In a couple of second minutes I'm going to show you the video, a little video of me putting this together. I'm not showing you, when I say putting it together, it's just key points. I'm not showing me soldering it together or anything like that. And so just so you get a quick overview of the build. It took me about 35 minutes to build this from scratch. Have it set up and ready to fire. So, it really is an easy build. So let's just talk about, in fact let's just watch a video first then we'll come back and we'll talk about what I think about it. Okay so like I said earlier this isn't going to be a build video, I'm just going to go through various bits. So the first thing we're going to do is put the ESC in. So let me just put that into focus so you can see that. So like I said this isn't going to be a build video. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is fit the motors. So the six wires on each side come off the four motors. The one thing you need to be careful is when you're fitting the ESC is make sure you fit it with the arrow up. So if you can see there's an arrow here, so that needs to be the top of the ESC fitted that way. If you don't do that and you fit it the wrong way around, all the motor directions, all the motor placements are going to be wrong. So this is the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to do, we're going to tin these pins and put the wires on. We're going to fit the motors without putting it in. So we're just going to virtually solder them like this and then we're going to put it into the frame. So what I'll do is I'll go solder these and I'll put the XT30 on, I'll focus again, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next bit. Okay, so there you go. So we've got the wires soldered to the ESC and I've soldered them on the top, which, are, which means I can bring them easy around the posts. And then the only other thing I've done is I've soldered on the XT30, sorry, it's keeping out of focus, and I've soldered it onto the XT30 underneath. So the reason I put it underneath is to stop this pulling down, so you're not less chance of breaking that off. So the next thing we need to do is insert this into the frame obviously. So let's put this to one side. So this is your frame, all we need to do is put these four screws in. So we've got four long screws as you can see. So put the four long screws into the holes. You can't really go wrong with these because there is only four. Going to tip it upside down. So obviously we're going to have this as the sides and this is going to be the front. So we need to drop this in this way. So if you look, we're going to make sure we've got the arrow. So what we need is four spaces for so all these rubber spaces. Or dampeners I suppose they are. So four dampeners on there. One, two, three, four. Drop this into place. Onto here and then it has four dampeners on the top. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fit our motors and we're going to do this with the wires. So as we fit the motors we're going to bring the wires oh my god the camera's not focusing, there you go. We're going to bring the wires round the front. So we're going to pop the motor wires round the front of the bolts and into there. This way we get the wires are nicely tucked out of the way and you have less chance of ragging them out. So I'm going to go fit the motors and then I'll come back and So as you can see, I put the motors on, I bring the wires round the back of the studs. Stop going out of focus, driving me crazy this camera today. We brought them round and now we're ready to put the next layer on. So pop it down here. The next thing we need to fit is the flight controller. There's an arrow on the top of here, we make sure it goes to the same way, to the board's the front of the drone. That simply pops on there. Again, you've got these rubbers on there. Same again, just pop them on top of there. And then what we need to now do is connect this flight controller to the ESC. So we're going to connect the cable from there to there, which is this cable. You can't go wrong with this, it'll only go one way. Pins to the top. Let's make sure the screws don't fall out. So the pins go to the top. <laughs> And then that just simply pops in there. So we have got this excess wire that we need. Well, there's not a lot you can do with it. This is the kind of build it is. It's a very bare bones build to keep the weight down. So we're just going to tuck them out of the way under there. It's not really going to cause a problem. Normally your camera would be here, of course, and it would take, the, take it out of the way. So that's quite neat, actually. So once we've got them built on, so now we need to put the other bits on. So the idea is we need to get the camera into here. So if you look at the camera, 
the wiring needs to go this side so the wiring comes this side of the case so we need to pop this in here like this okay i think this thing keeps going out of focus so i'll put a background against it so as you can see camera pushes into the front here the wires go from the camera wires go down the left hand side and then when you your board needs to go in so the little button is out of this side and then if you look at the plastic at the back you've got a little bit which is to stop that going down i'm going to actually do something with this because i don't like the look of this so i'm probably going to put a cable tie here and do some heat shrinking and this is the wires coming out the back you can use some double-sided tape and it stop it flying out mine's actually very tight but so we'll see how we get on with it but i probably might have to put them in it at some point but at the minute it's keeping the weight down so that's the camera so the next thing we need to do is, is fix this onto the top of the drill so here you go so all you do is put plus your plastic thing on uh, the plastic top on here and then put the four screws in and run the screws up from the that's it so all i'm going to do is take these down and i'm going to fit the receiver which goes in the back here with a supplied wire i'm going to fit an xm plus and hopefully it will fit up there it might not do and that's about all i'm going to do i'm going to put a cable tie up here and a bit of heat shrink on there just to stop this trying to pull out because that looks a bit like it could come off in a crash and don't really want to solder that back on so this is completely stock so i'll now take so if you watched the beginning of the video when i had it built we'll go back to that point and you can see what i do next so sorry about the video where you saw the camera going in and out of focus it was bad playing i don't know what was on with it but it was playing up so as you can see from the video i've changed i've took the um cable tie i on here and i've put the receiver sticking out the back because it really is the only place i could get it to go next and plus you could really do with a smaller receiver and then i brought my wires down to get out of the way of these props so this is completely stock so this is the prop it comes with so these are the ldr c65 mil they're actually a lot better than the props you get on the um on this but they're not as good as the props, the HQ props, which I do prefer. But when I do the flight video, and I apologise now, I can't get the flight video up. I have flown this, but I didn't video it, and I've just gone to video it today, and the wind's horrendous, and it's raining, so I'll have the flight video up very shortly of it, uh, and I'll tell you anything else that I've found with it. But I have flown it, and it flies, and it, it flies nice, but I can't really fault it. It does exactly what it says in the tin. It flies... I thought I'd be flying this on 3S more, but I actually think it's just as good on 2S. I don't think you really need the 3S. There isn't really that much difference. It's got enough power on 2S. These motors seem to cope really well. The camera surprised me. It's really nice. Uh, it's really nice. I'd probably buy another one of these for another build because they're a nice camera. It's not the best camera in the world, don't get me wrong, but I think it's really nice. It does its job. And like, like I said, the only bit of a problem I've had is trying to get the receiver into here, but... That's not a problem. And you can see I'm running this on the GNB452S to keep the weight down. Let's just see what it does weight. Let me just get my scales. Not very organised, this button. I've got my scale, so. Let's just get the scales out and see what it does weigh. So if you can see the scales, you might not be able to. Eighty-one point nine grams. That's coming in as, and that's with a GMB four hundred and fifty on the bottom. So really nice and light little quad. So we need these. A lot of about these quads is the building. I enjoy building them. They're good fun to build. And the ESHE, the Tyro series has been all right. The ninety nine was okay. Seventy nine was really good. The one two nine, which you haven't seen the video for yet, which will be coming up quite a long video, is amazing. I, in my opinion anyway and this thing is decent it's good so the here's the thing would i recommend buying this and i actually don't know so it looks cheap it's 52 53 quid it comes out at, but then you need to buy a battery so let's say you buy one of these and i think these are about nine quid and then you buy a receiver so if you buy this is the uk price that i'm talking about so if you buy a receiver you might be looking at the 14 quid and you could now be into 74 75 quid but now you can buy one of these for around that kind of money and here's the thing which one would you i love this i haven't done the review of this you're going to see this shortly as well i've got quite a lot of stuff coming up 
I absolutely love this thing. I've been flying it on the stock because I haven't done the review yet, but I will be taking that off and flying this on a 2S battery. But this comes with batteries and it comes with the receiver built in. So you need that's something you only you can decide. Is it fun to fly this? Yeah, really is fun to fly. And I think it really is a decent thing. And could you have made it any cheaper? Probably not. I apologise for the rain, so I'm just gonna pause it there when that noise dies down. Sorry about that. So I was saying for the price, they couldn't have made this any cheaper. I'm looking at building my own toothpick, which you'll see in a few weeks, probably about a month from now actually, because I've got that many videos lined up, but I can't get a toothpick build for anything like this kind of money, or this kind of money. I think I'm at around 100 quid for mine, when you see it. And that's got, it's probably got better, it's got better motors than this, but are they better than Emacs? Probably not. So, these things are cheap. If you like building, yeah, get this by all means. I'm not saying this is a bad quad by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the only thing bad about it is you have to get it from Banggood. Or you can get it from eBay, but pay a few quid more. I'd pay a few quid more and get it from eBay. But yeah, I really do like it. I think it's a great little package. I just would struggle to recommend. If you're a first time flyer and you want a toothpick, just, or that kind of drone, or this size of drone, go for this. If you want to build something and have a bit of fun, go for this. That's the easiest way for me to put it. I really love it. You'll see from the flight footage when I do the flight footage, it flies really nice. It's a quick little thing. Um, and it's got, obviously this has got better range because I've got an XM Plus in there, but yeah. It's a decision only you can make, unfortunately, not me. But yeah, like I said, I really do like it. It's another winner from Eusheen, in my opinion. I'd probably put the HQ props on here, which well, I will be doing. I'll have the HQ props on because I prefer them. These tend to cause vibration, the cheap props. But yeah, love it. Fantastic. Easy setup. Easy build. 35, 40 minutes if you've built a few before. Even if you, if you haven't built one before, there's, loads, there's a good flight video of someone, there's a good sorry, flat footage of someone building one of these. But you can probably see from the little bits I'm going to show you, that's enough to, to build it. You need to do a bit of soldering on these six points on either side and bridge a little connector underneath, bridge a little pad underneath the board for your receiver. And that's it. All you need to do. So, I'll have the flight footage coming up shortly. I've got a lot of good things coming up. I've got the Emacs that you've just seen. I've also got the iFlight 120RS, which is the 4S version. I've got um, the Diatone Cube, which was the one with Kebab FPV, I've got the 130 the 3 inch version of that to come on this channel. I've got loads of things coming up as you'll see over the next few weeks and quite a lot more playing. So thanks ever so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.